Hey, this is Jabari with b and and today we're looking at Hasselblad's newest medium format mirrorless camera and series of XCD lenses. Introducing the Hasselblad X2D 100C medium format mirrorless camera and the XCD 38mm f2.5, XCD 55mm f2.5, and XCD 90mm f2.5 V series lenses. Hasselblad's successor to the X1D 50C Mark II introduces five axis image stabilization, phase detect autofocus, and a tilting LCD screen. The new V-Series XCD lenses feature a compact design, linear focus motors, and additional control ring. Together, the X2D 100C and V-Series lenses feel like an overhaul of Hasselblad's medium format mirrorless platform. Both the camera and lenses are faster, easier to use, and more versatile than ever before. At the heart of the X2D is Hasselblad's new 100 megapixel sensor. The 44 by 33 millimeter BSI CMOS sensor has 15 stops of dynamic range, which is an entire stop more than the X1D Mark II. The X2D is ready to take on the most challenging of lighting scenarios with its ability to recover information from both the highlights and shadows. When combined with 16-bit color processing and Hasselblad's natural color solution, photographers can take beautiful images with natural, lifelike color reproduction. Two of the most significant upgrades to the X2D are the faster, more accurate autofocus and in-body image stabilization. The new sensor incorporates 294 face detection autofocus zones. The face detection autofocus is significantly better at catching focus in challenging lighting scenarios than the contrast-based autofocus used on the previous camera bodies. The X2D's face detection autofocus is also considerably faster, making it easier to capture moving subjects. Handheld and street photographers will appreciate the X2D's 5-axis in-body image stabilization. The camera corrects for up to seven stops of camera shake, making it possible to shoot handheld at slower shutter speeds without compromising image quality. In addition to that, the system will stabilize any lens, including adapted lenses. Hasselblad also updated the EVF and LCD screen for the X2D. The new 5.76 million dot OLED EVF has a 1x magnification for bright and clear eye level viewing. On the back of the camera body, the 3.6-inch touchscreen tilts with two indentations at 40 degrees and 70 degrees for easier viewing. Finally, on top of the X2D is a new 1.0-inch full-color status LCD for a heads-up view of exposure settings, battery life, and other shooting parameters. The most surprising update for the X2D are the storage options. Instead of having two card slots, the camera has one CF Express Type-B card slot and one terabyte of built-in storage. Typically, professionals prefer two card slots. However, the internal SSD accomplishes the same task. Photographers can shoot two CF Express Type-B cards and back up to the internal storage. If you run out of space on your CF Express card, you'll be able to capture up to 4,600 RAW files or 13,800 JPEGs on the camera's built-in memory. Finally, Photographers who forget or forego using cards can rest easy knowing that the internal SSD is both high capacity and high performance. With write speeds up to 2,370 megabits per second and read speeds up to 2,850 megabits per second, the internal SSD is significantly faster than any CF Express Type B card on the market today. Next, let's talk about something that has not changed, the design and form factor. The X2D measures 5.85 by 4.2 by 2.9 inches and weighs 1.74 pounds, making it slightly taller and thicker than the X1D and only five ounces heavier. The camera is very comfortable to hold and feels exceptionally sturdy. For connectivity, the X2D utilizes Nikon's ITTL flash system, USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C with 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds for tethered shooting, and Wi-Fi 6 for wireless tethered shooting with tablets and computers. Hasselblad is also releasing three new lenses, the XCD 38mm f2.5 V, the XCD 55mm f2.5 V, and XCD 90mm f2.5 V. These lenses are a stylistic and performance departure from the first round of XCD lenses. What immediately stands out with these new lenses is the f2.5 maximum aperture. The V-series lenses are the fastest available for the XCD mount other than the 80mm f1.9. Despite being faster than most of their predecessors, the V-series lenses are also noticeably lighter and smaller. 
The 90 millimeter F2.5 is 2.4 ounces lighter than the 90 millimeter F3.2. The 55 millimeter F2.5 is 12 ounces lighter than the 65 millimeter F2.8. And the 38 millimeter F2.5 is only one ounce heavier than the 45 millimeter F4. The V-series lenses have a push-pull focus ring design for switching between autofocus and mechanically linked manual focus. Full-time manual focus is supported in the autofocus mode as well. Finally, when used with the X2D, these three new lenses will exhibit faster autofocus speeds thanks to the linear stepping autofocus motor. One last update for the lenses is a configurable control ring at the base, which can function as an aperture ring or be reassigned to control various other shooting settings like ISO or exposure compensation. The Hasselblad X2D 100C is an excellent choice for anyone looking to upgrade from full frame cameras to medium format. Whether you are a professional, amateur, or hobbyist, the X2D is approachable and easy to use. The camera's ergonomics, stabilization, and faster autofocus help bridge the gap between versatile full frame cameras and more rigid medium format cameras. At the same time, the X2D delivers on the image quality we expect from medium format, featuring 100 megapixels of resolution and 15 stops of dynamic range. When paired with any of the V-series lenses, the X2D 100C feels even more intuitive as it benefits from the extra customizable ring, bright aperture, and linear manual focus system. So, what are your thoughts on Hasselblad's X2D 100C and V-series lenses? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Jabari with B&H, have a sensational day.